Hello. Tonight I'd like to talk about the uh, last component of my home theater system. Uh, this would be the Epson HC2000 1080p 3D projector. Uh, the projector is uh, three years old and at this point it is quite honestly it's it's been a great unit that I have had. Uh, I am impressed with its capabilities, what it was able to deliver for the price point. I bought this on a sale from Amazon for $550, and at this price point it has been more than worth the money and has delivered a great uh, home theater experience for myself and my family. So the first thing to cover here with the Epson Epson is different from the other manufacturers in that it doesn't do a rotating color wheel to produce its images. It uses a 3 LCD chip uh, and you know it has its advantages and disadvantages just the same as the color wheel projectors do. The disadvantage is that blacks have a tendency to come out a little bit more grayish with the 3 LCD chip. However, it uh, does not have a serious drawback that the color wheels do, which is the notorious, what is known as, rainbow effect. The rainbow effect is a uh, procedure where it, a process where it will, uh, as it spins around, it can produce a uh, sort of rainbow effect on, on your projection image. And as a result of this, if you have somebody who's sensitive, you know, whether it be to uh, lighting, uh, prone to seizures, or those sorts of things, they can have some motion sickness type issues that can be related to it. And unfortunately, you're never going to know for sure until you try it out. So one of the huge advantages of the Epson with the 3 LCD chip is that you don't have to worry about this issue because of the way it does things. It's just a digital image. So uh, that, that is the trade-off, and it's well worth it in my opinion. Now the other huge advantage, this is a 3D projector, uh, and as such, the Epson uh, has its own glasses, but quite honestly the reviews are mixed on those, because you need to have the active battery-powered 3D glasses. The standard passive movie theater shutter glasses will not work with this or pretty much any affordable projector. Uh, none of them will work. They have to have some form of active 3D technology in order to work with a projector. Now the good news is Samsung makes some very affordable glasses. These happen to be the uh, 4100 series that I picked up for dirt cheap. I think they were like $10.00. Uh, I think they've gone up since then, so don't expect to get them that cheap, but usually about $18 to $20 for a set of glasses. And it so happens that these things will sync perfectly directly to the projector. You don't have to purchase a separate unit or anything like that. And I've run as many as uh, 10 to 12 of these units at a time with the projector. I had the whole family over, and uh, it's been great. They all sync up, they all work, and so everybody can sit down and enjoy a mass 3D viewing experience right in your living room with these things. So uh, if you happen to uh, be a 3D enthusiast, kind of like I am, these are a great uh, thing to get for an Epson HC2000 or the later 2040 and 2045 models because they use the same technology, so they should sync directly to the projector. So that is an option for you. The other thing that I found really interesting about the Epson is that uh, its replacement bulb cost is significantly less than, say, the, the BenQ counterparts or uh, the other projectors that are in its price range. Uh, for example, this thing has a bulb that's rated for 5,000 hours in regular mode, 6,000 hours in eco mode, which by the way I recommend doing because the fan is super loud in regular mode, so switch it to eco mode and you'll be happier with it, and it makes your bulb last a little bit longer. As such, uh, the reason that I purchased this projector was because the replacement bulb for this thing was a whopping $99, 
Now for those of you looking and going, okay, that still sounds kind of expensive, to put this in perspective, the BenQ and some of the other projector bulbs to get the entire housing replacement will cost you $180 to $250. So there's a pretty significant price difference there. And even more so now with the newer 2040 and 2045 models, you can get a replacement bulb for those projectors at $79 for the complete housing unit. So uh, if you're talking about getting a regular use out of an Epson projector, it will cost you much less if you want to get lots of use out of a projector. The Epson is the way to go because it has a cheaper bulb replacement cost. Um, I have never had to replace the bulb as of yet. I use it probably once or twice a week. Um, and it's been a great projector, as I've mentioned. Now, uh, <laughs> I have done something here that would be considered sacrilege among the purist community. This thing does not have the manual optical lens shift. It has the what is known as the dreaded keystone digital shift here, which can affect your screen. Um, you can see it, the image it's projecting right there. Sorry, I chose Planet Earth 2 just for this quick little demo. Uh, and as such, you can see the kind of image it projects. Now, keep in mind, this image is being, A, projected on an eggshell white wall. No, I do not use a screen, and I know it's considered, once again, a faux pas among the purists out there. But quite honestly, I have found that my wall works perfectly. Uh, it delivers a good image. And keep in mind, it is not completely dark outside. I just have the blinds closed. So this image looks even better at night when uh, it is being projected. Now you'll notice here, I do not have it mounted. Uh, I have just found it much easier and more convenient for my personal use to not have it mounted and put it down here. I know it's keystone, you know, with digital uh, lens shifting there as far as projecting the image. So the image quality doesn't look quite as good as it would if it were in direct line uh, or mounted. But quite honestly, for most people, uh, everybody I've talked to who have brought over the house, they've been blown away by the presentation that this projector has been able to put out, especially for the cost. So as such, just keep in mind that this picture quality could be even nicer than what you're seeing right now. So, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what it all looks like, you know, you can see this, this demo here from Planet Earth, uh, which of course delivers everything in stunning color. Great series, by the way. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend the original Planet Earth and then Planet Earth 2. But uh, yeah, great series, great, uh, great presentation, great demo material for your projector. And as such, uh, the, uh, it is just a great little unit for the money. Uh, and as I said, you know, I recognize the HC2000 is no longer in production, uh, but its 2040 and 2045 counterparts are basically this projector with a slightly cheaper build and some improved specs. So uh, if you happen to find, keep an eye out on the sales, you can occasionally find them in that $550 to $600 range, which basically puts this thing into the realm of about a, uh, you know, a 48 to 55 inch, say, Samsung or Sony, you know, nicer TV set. Now some people will say, oh, well, I can get a 4K set with a regular TV. Well, <laughs> yeah, but you're also not going to get a device that can project up to a 300 inch image, which this can. Uh, right now, I think I've measured this, I'm running it at about 132 inch, which is roughly, I believe it was when I measured it, about 10 and a half feet diagonal on this wall right here. So it is more than capable of delivering a great picture and image. Uh, I have used, you know, Avatar and some IMAX format movies. And this, and yeah, at that point, I have to move this couch out of the way and it fills the entire wall um, from floor to ceiling. And it's just, it's stunning, uh, particularly in 3D. Uh, you wouldn't, I was actually blown away by 
how well it projects a 3D image onto a wall. I was expecting, because my wall is rough textured, that it wouldn't work, but uh, it, it doesn't miss a thing. It, uh, it will definitely give you a solid 3D performance and uh, presentation experience. Uh, once again, from people I brought over who've been through, you know, they spend 40 bucks and sitting in an IMAX theater, they look at me afterwards and say, you don't even have to go to the theater anymore, do you? And I said, no, I haven't been in years. So once again, if you're looking to get into a projector, you kind of want to maybe, you know, try out a 3D experience or something like that. Uh, one of these Epson LCD projectors is a great way to go. Or if you would prefer something, you know, with a little more of a black projection image and you don't mind the color wheel, the BenQ 1070 or 1075 models are also excellent choices. So it just uh, all depends on your personal preference. Personally, I'm an Epson guy, so I prefer the Epson, but uh, you can't go wrong with either. So anyways, that's uh, all I've got on this, and thanks for watching.